Nothing? I bet you guys are wondering why we're at a fabric store. And uh, we're gonna make some more horsepower. So, got my headlight here. We're gonna head in there and get some free horsepower. So let's go. All right, next stop, Home Depot hardware store here. I got uh, this five inch reef ring in the headlight. We're gonna see if we can find something like a funnel to uh, make the two fit together. Then we're gonna punch a hole in the headlight, so give it a shot. Nice, look at that. All right, so so far we're up to $5 for the green ring. Uh, I think this is about $2 for this uh, black plastic, I think it was like irrigation connector or something. And just a couple bucks for uh, the spray paint to make it look all nice and awesome. So we'll see how well it goes together. We might have just uh, added 100,000 horsepower to the race car for like five dollars. In here you guys can see what I'm going for. When we cut a hole here, we're gonna have a direct line of air shooting right into the intake. All right, get this flipped over, and you can see there's two screw holes at the top, two on the bottom, and then two over on the side here, and they're just fill up, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. All right, so I got a plastic disc, cutting disc on this, so let's get to work. All right, while well, I'm finishing uh, getting the lens out of the car there, I'm gonna just put the ring down, put the center section in here, and I've got some uh, goop glue, and I'm just gonna go around the edge here now just to get the, the two pieces together. All right, so we're gonna be prying right between here and here with a flathead. And you can see I already got that side done. And then we flip it over. Pry it between the glass and the plastic. Just nice and easy. Don't go too hard that you can snap the glass. All right, so looking at the front of the car, again, you can see the inlet for the, uh, the stock box. And uh, this will kind of give you an idea of what we're going for. All right, we're losing daylight here, so I've got uh, one last cut to make here just to uh, enlarge this hole with the Dremel here. So let's get to work. All right, so for this next step, what we're going to need is, uh, we're going to have to wrap that velocity stack in something to protect it because it's just a foam ring. So for this, I'm going to choose some fiberglass resin and uh, fiberglass cloth. So pretty much I'm going to wrap the velocity stack in fiberglass, let it harden, sand it, and then we'll be able to paint it. <clears throat> and the cool thing about this is also there's a uh, discount going on. So again, uh, depending on how quickly I get this video up, um, we're looking at 15 and seven bucks for this and then they ship you a ten dollar gift card so I mean this is this is probably about as cheap as we can get away from doing it all right next up we've got the fiberglass resin and the fiberglass cloth so uh, pretty much what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open up the the cloth <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out enough to uh, 
to fully cover this cone so uh, into the inside now to you know tuck it in as best I can uh, the glue that we used on the inside holding it together pretty good so I don't think uh, we'll have too much issue but like I said uh, adding this fiberglass is just gonna make it that much more rigid and uh, make sure this thing doesn't fly off the car as we're driving down the road All right, so <clears throat> it's been about 10 minutes and uh, the resin is actually getting pretty tacky, so I guess I measured uh, pretty spot on. We still have a, a couple of these high spots where the uh, material folded over, but uh, for the most part, I'm pretty happy how it came out. Uh, a few things uh, you know, for sure want to touch up, but uh, I actually think it's gonna come out really cool. So for now, we're gonna let this set up and dry. All right, sorry for the uh, lawn getting mowed in the background there, but well, oh, sounds like they just hit a rock. Anyway, uh, so this is what we're left with here after everything's uh, dried. We got a couple of high spots. I think I'm gonna go through and just uh, hit it with the sanding block real quick, take down those high edges, um, just pretty much wipe it all down, and then I'm gonna start uh, getting some paint on it. All right, so this thing's still lumpy like crazy, but it's gonna be uh, more than what we need for uh, for this purpose. So now, we've got just a little metallic silver. All right, so this is after a couple of coats of paint. Uh, again, it's not perfectly smooth. Next up, I'm actually gonna hit this thing up with a little 3M headlight polish kit, uh, the headlight restoration kit. And also, I'm going to uh, remove this this is like a tinted uh, light, didn't match anything else, looked horrible. Um, but luckily I've got another set of headlights, so I'm gonna polish pretty much everything. I'll have a legit set of headlights. I'm gonna get rid of that smoked one, and then polish this up and glue the horn in, and uh, uh, see if we gain 800 horsepower. So, let's go. All right, first up, let's go. Uh, still going here, we got uh, two more discs to go through, two more layers of polish to go through, and uh, a whole nother light, so it's gonna keep cracking away. All right, next step we have, uh, we've got this wet sanding disc. Again, wet sanding. Make sure it's wet, and uh, just keep the, uh, the headlight wet as well, so. Don't be shy. Now it's time for this guy. All right, so these things are coming out really good so far. The next step is pretty much the uh, my favorite when we take this little polish pad. And uh, we add a little bit of rubbing co compound to that and it just polishes up all nice and uh, crystal clear. And again, these were free junkyard headlights, so uh, they've definitely come a long way, but we're almost done.
trying to get you guys a good shot of that. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the vertical line here between polished uh, from the last two steps there, but I mean, it's awesome. It's probably one of the coolest products out there. I know there's a bunch of different companies that make you know different uh, different versions, but I've always had really really good luck with the 3M brand, um, especially now now that they offer like a, a sealant. So now that it comes with this uh, protective wax sealant, so they don't you know uh, they don't go foggy all again you know in a couple of months. All right, so there you go, guys. After that uh, last stage of polish, now pretty much we just have uh, a wax to put over here. Like I said, that protective wax, but uh, the headlights look awesome. They look brand new. All right, so here you guys can see uh, pretty much the final product. I still got to put the protective wax on the one on top, but um, yeah, it's going to be like a new car in the front except for that guy that fell out. All right, let's get these headlights in. This is definitely a uh, surefire way to tell if at one point your uh, side markers have fallen off and uh, spun around about 800 million times while somebody was driving on the highway. You can see this this wire has been twisted about 400 times. So. And then just to make sure it doesn't happen to us, went ahead and added just a single dab of uh, silicone and that should pretty much keep that from uh, popping out later on. So, Looking pretty good though. So there we go, we got the front of the car put back together with uh, those freshly polished new headlights. It's looking pretty good, I gotta admit. I do, uh, kind of debating whether or not uh, to get block out plates for the fog lights or, you know, put stock fog lights back in there. Or <clears throat> what I'm actually thinking is maybe doing like air ducts for the brakes as well. You know, put a backing plate uh, just behind the rotor. So, got a couple of options and uh, see what we're gonna do here. All right, all right, now for the good stuff. Uh, paint seems to be uh, pretty dry. Again, it's this thing is not perfect. It uh, I probably would have had better luck putting duct tape on there, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, so I think the next thing I gotta do is figure out a way to uh, really secure these two pieces together. So kind of giving you a, an idea of what this thing will finally look like when it's done. Uh, I actually think it'll be pretty rad. All right, so I've got some uh, pretty strong uh, epoxy resin stuff here. And I think pretty much what I'm gonna do is just go around the whole uh, velocity stack here and just kind of stitch it to the headlight. Uh, I got a pretty big gap to fill, so see how well I can do this here. I know it's kind of hard to see on the top here with the silver and the clear and the clear glue and whatnot, but this stuff, uh, it actually drives pretty crazy quick. So I'm able to just go on top of, uh, you know, what I just did with another, another run and it's actually, uh, it's setting up really, really nice. You know, one thing I was just thinking about is, <laughs> I'm not sure if the hood's gonna shut with this thing here. Huh. Uh, maybe? I really don't know. All right, so we're pretty much uh, glued the whole way around here on this guy. Uh, it's definitely gonna have to dry for at least a day. Uh, if not longer, because there's literally just so much of this uh, this resin everywhere. And I'll just add a little bit more just to make sure. But uh, yeah, what I might do after is uh, 
go over it, smooth it all out, and uh, you know, like make it look all nice, but probably not. <laughs> so for right now, we're uh, just gonna call it a day. Uh, it's getting ready to rain here again, so I'm gonna throw this thing inside, let it dry overnight, and then come back out tomorrow and uh, see what it looks like in the car. So see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Here we go, we've got our Ram air intake all built and ready to uh, test fit onto the vehicle. And uh, again, not for you guys to worry, but uh, I do have another headlight set that I can just pop in. So essentially what my plan is, is you know, get to the track and pretty much attach these two top easy to uh, access bolts. So essentially two bolts to drop this in and out whenever we go race. And then, you know, throw the stock light in, uh, you know, on the way home. So it's still legal. Everything's still good, but now we got a sweet 20 horsepower increase because uh, of this awesome homemade $4.80 Ram Air intake. All right, hope you guys like that one. Our uh, sub $10 Ram Air intake on this race car. See you guys next week. <laughs>